This is the story of Ronika Monique Richburg. Ronika Monique Richburg was born on September 7th, 1987. She was a lifelong resident of Jefferson Parish and graduated from East Jefferson High School. In addition to her entrepreneurship as a hairstylist, Ronika obtained an associate degree in medical billing and coding from Herzing University. Prior to becoming the CEO of NOLA Braidhead, Ronika was an employer of Volunteers of America as a direct support specialist, working with individuals with physical and mental disabilities. Ronika had a passion for hair braiding and all things beauty. She took her time with each hair client and was patient with everyone she encountered. Ronika was very humble, sweet, and a wise young woman. Her life revolved around her children. In her eyes, they were her lifeline and vice versa. Ronika began a rocky seven year on and off again relationship with her ex-boyfriend, 42 year old Lloyd El Salvador Jones. The relationship eventually produced a son Lloyd was said to be both controlling and physically abusive. After managing to leave Lloyd for good, Ronika was finally able to start over. However, her ex-boyfriend Lloyd refused to let go. Ronika accused Jones of various abusive acts, including breaking the windshield of her car, shattering numerous cell phones, and damaging other property. Eventually, Ronika went to court and obtained a restraining order to protect herself from the father of her son. According to court documents filed with the Jefferson Parish's 24th Judicial District Court on August 19th, Ronika stated that Jones stalked her mom's house, called her phone continuously, and followed her on a bridge. She further went on to say, he calls my cell all day and night, pops up at my house unannounced, follows me, calls my mom, continuously sends numerous text messages, and goes to my friend's house unannounced. Ronika called police three times within a two month period. However, none of these calls led to an arrest. Richburg's mother, who was there when the shooting happened, said Jones came to drop off their four-year-old son at their home on Millie Drive. She said Jones asked for Ronika several times, and after she didn't let him in, he kicked the door open. Shooting happened. So I just opened the screen enough where he can let LJ in the, um, in the screen door. On August 25th, Richburg said Jones came to drop off their four-year-old son, LJ, at their home on Millie Drive. She said he asked for Ronika several times, and after Richburg didn't let him in, she said he kicked the door open. Ronika was in the back of the house with a client. A male in the home overheard the commotion and made his way to the living room. Jones then began to shoot. The male suffered gunshot wounds to his neck and both arms. Ronika ran to hide in a bathroom and her client dashed into a bedroom to take cover. Jones followed Ronika and fatally shot her before returning to the living room to continue shooting at the male visitor. Jones then ran from the home 
and sped off in a dark-colored GMC pickup truck, according to the sheriff's office. Neither Ronika's mother, son, or client were injured. Doctors could not remove the bullet from the male visitor's neck, but he was able to recover from the shooting. Ronika's son, who was named after his father, witnessed the chaos and its bloody aftermath. It's hard. Deputies are still looking for Jones. They believe he left the area. Richburg prays every day he gets caught so they can get justice for her daughter. I wanted to suffer first. I wanted to suffer. This hurts so bad. I'm trying to keep it together, but it hurt. The murder happened just six days after Richburg filed the restraining order. As of this video, deputies are still looking for Jones. He's wanted for first degree murder, attempted first degree murder, home invasion, obstruction of justice, and violation of a protective order with a firearm. Following her passing, many took to Facebook to flood her business page and to leave their condolences. Anyone with information on the whereabouts of Lloyd El Salvador Jones is asked to call the Sheriff's Office Investigations Bureau at 504-364-5300 or Crime Stoppers at 504-822-1111. Jones would face mandatory life imprisonment or perhaps the death penalty if convicted of first degree murder. This was the story of Ronika Monique Richburg.